Towering sea cliffs, tumbling streams, wild, windswept moorland and steep wooded valleys revealing spectacular coastal views. Exmoor National Park is a truly beautiful and unique part of southwest England. A landscape shaped by both people and nature over thousands of years. These rich and diverse habitats are home to an incredible variety of wildlife. The enchanting Exmoor pony, herds of majestic red deer, and even some of the UK's rarest butterflies and bat species all depend upon these pristine ecosystems to thrive. However, these precious habitats give way to a more sinister presence. Japanese knotweed, mombrisha, skunk cabbage and signal crayfish are just some of the non-native invasive species threatening our delicate ecosystems across Exmoor and beyond. Spreading and multiplying, these non-native plants and animals leave a long path of destruction that extends far beyond just that of the environment. Our economy, health and the way we live are also paying the price. Costing the British economy an estimated £1.8 billion a year, these species are one of the five major threats to the state of nature. Exmoor National Park Authority has been at the front line of the battle against non-native invasive species since 2005 with its pioneering work controlling Japanese knotweed and more recently its groundbreaking trials on the organic control of knotweed and signal crayfish. In 2019, the Exmoor Non-Native Invasive Species Project was launched and a three-year initiative to coordinate and trial innovative approaches in detecting and controlling the spread of invasive species went underway. An army of local communities, landowners, contractors and volunteers formed to fight for the preservation and restoration of Exmoor's extraordinary landscape and treasured habitats. Lemmus 25 years ago, which is roughly when we started um, treating knotweed here, everything outside of the water was six foot high, wall to wall knotweed. We're in the situation now where we've got native species back, it's actually quite difficult to find the knotweed. It's a success, but we've still got more work to do to, to try and finish it off. It's the harder part of the process because it's, it's more difficult to find. We can miss it, so the next year it's a little bit taller. we just got to keep at it. We've taken very much a landscape approach. We've worked with over 300 landowners and homeowners across the National Park to try and get a picture of where the knotweed is across Exmoor. So it doesn't matter if it's sort of on a, a natural watercourse or whether it's in somebody's back garden, we want to know about it and we'll record it and then we will go out and treat all of those sites that we get permission to treat. Treating organically farmed land for knotweed and other invasive species, however, does present its own challenges as it restricts the use of conventional herbicide. The Exmoor Non-Native Invasive Species Project has been trialling a state-of-the-art organic treatment using RootWave technology. We've been using the RootWave machine for the last three years. It works by delivering a high current around about 5,000 volts through the plant, which travels through the root structure and uh, damages the roots on a cellular level and eventually should lead to the destruction of the plant. The good thing about using RootWave is uh, you're not putting chemicals into the environment and obviously where we can produce that, that, that's really good. It's also really great because you basically leave the plants decompose, which is perfect for invasive species, you don't want to be spreading them accidentally. Not being able to use herbicides can make life very difficult. I'm very lucky because the National Park Authority have done a lot of the actual work. We're, we're very optimistic and especially on this site I think it's been remarkably successful. So it's really hard to say how effective RootWave has been so far, but what we found is it needs several treatments a year. I think to see the results, we're going to have to take a more long-term approach. For the best overall outcome across the National Park, the most effective approach is to use a combination of tools to combat these non-native invasive plant species. The RootWave trials are playing an important role in broadening the options available. 
we've been working on controlling signal crayfish and some of those methods and the results that we'll get from that research will be used nationally and internationally which was really exciting that we're sort of doing that research here on Exmoor. We're trialling a trap called the Artificial Refuge Trap and we attract equal ratios of males and females and also we catch much smaller crayfish and we're taking out a lot of female crayfish. Male crayfish are quite competitive so they do a lot of predation on the smaller crayfish. We sterilise them by removing four appendages called gonopods which they use in the mating process. Over the last six years the average size of crayfish that we're catching has actually increased quite a lot so that tells us that we're catching a lot of the smaller animals, the juveniles, which is, which is what we're aiming to do and it's also indicating that perhaps the sterilisation is having an effect on the reproductive rate of the population. All this vital work is carried out by a team of specially trained volunteers who are an essential part of this important project. We have been learning a lot about how, you know, to get rid of an invasive species and trying to reduce the damage you're doing. That's great, it's lovely. It's nice being out on the river uh, and it's nice meeting people. It's a great place to have on my doorstep to come out and enjoy. And hopefully it will be here for years and years to come and it's through the efforts of the park and other organisations that it's being saved and, and kept for everyone. I think the legacy of the project is a really positive one. We've got some fantastic results both in terms of on the ground but also in the different techniques that we're trialling and so I think that will really help us move forward into the future, particularly looking at some of the organic methods and also from some of the research of the signal crayfish work has been really interesting and really positive. Some really sort of practical advice that we can distill down into sort of best practice to give to other projects in, in other parts of the country so that they can really benefit from the work that we've done here on Exmoor. So we're really, really grateful that we've had this opportunity and it's really really been able to allow us to focus very much on invasives and, and make a real difference you know working with um, a, a really fantastic team. The benefits of the project are far-reaching and we can already see a vast improvement across the National Park from the landscape, environment and native wildlife to local communities, landowners, visitors and the economy. If you would like more information about how to get involved with the NS project and to find out how to submit a non-native invasive species record, please visit www.exmoornationalpark.gov.uk or search online for Exmoor NS Project. <laughs>